Alrighty, to start us off with this shortcut madness, we're going to start with the application shortcuts, particularly the ones that let you interact with your tool panel right here. So first off is V. V will give you the selection tool. Now say we were on a different tool, this one, you press V, you're going to get back to your selection tool, which is really just a fancy way of saying your mouse, which lets you do all these great things. Next, we have our track select forward and backward tool. So you hit A to get track forward, so you can grab your whole time, uh, uh, sequence here and move things forward from whichever points you select. Shift A lets you move everything backward from whichever point you select. Now the ripple edit tool, or B, will let you make an adjustment here, uh, right, like say like so, and then it will move everything forward. So you don't have to have an annoying gap there when you're trying to uh, edit things down and get rid of some extra fluff in your timeline. The rolling edit tool, or N, will allow you to, if you have some extra space, see like I do here, on the edge of my clip, roll that into the other one. And then the other one automatically gets turned back. Isn't that great? The rate stretch tool, or R, is going to let you stretch the rate of a shot. So I'm going to mute this. So basically, I have a 60 frames a second shot here and a 24 frames a second uh, sequence. If I want to slow that down, stretch it out, boom, slow motion uh, house. Likewise, I can speed it up, uh, shrink it there, boom, fast. Next, we have the classic razor tool, C. C will let you bring up the razor tool, and then you can make little cuts in your timeline whenever you want to. By the way, I'm pressing Control z to undo my actions, but we're getting ahead of ourselves, aren't we? Next up, we have the slip tool, which is going to let you slip a clip uh, uh, down on your sequence. So the in and out points are going to move back and forth, as you can see here. Uh, without you needing to do much more than press the Y button. Slide U is the slide tool, which is going to let you, here we get a good example here, slide your clip within your uh, number of clips here on your sequence. So it's like the slip and the slide, slip and slide. Y for slip, U for slide. Next we have P, P for our pen tool. The pen tool lets you make adjustments down here, for instance. Uh, keyframes on your audio channel. Press Ctrl Z to get rid of that. You can also do many other things, but that's all I'm going to do for now. You can also draw masks and shapes. Good stuff. The hand tool, H, that lets you move around on the timeline. As far as I know, that's all I would use it for. Z, Z is a zoom tool. Now we can zoom into our timeline. Yay. And lastly, we have T, the type tool. If you press T, you go up here. You can type anything you want. Shortcuts. Yay. And here we are graduating to the file shortcuts, meaning if you go to this drop-down menu called File, these shortcuts are going to let you interact with all of these super fast. First off, we have New Project. Control, Alt, N. And boom, dialog box for a new project. New sequence would be Control, N. And now we can select what we want our new sequence to be like. New bin would be control forward slash. And here we are. We have a new bin. New bin. Yay. Open project is control O. And that will let us search for all the things we need to find. Close. This is a great one. Say you don't like this pesky window. Do control W. Boom. It's gone. Close project is control shift W. And, oh, the trusty control S is, of course, save. By the way, sorry, Mac people, I'm on a PC. Uh, the control is replaced with command and alt is replaced with option, I believe, for your OS. Just keep that in mind. Now, if you want to save as, do control shift S and you will be able to tell it what to save it as. If you want to do uh, save a copy, do control alt S. And there we go, saving a copy. If you want to capture uh, F5, no, I can't. I don't have a device, but FYI, F6. And this is where I would put a capture device, if I had one, uh, would let you 
bring up batch capture. And if you would like to import from the media browser, uh, the shortcut for that is control alt I. Boom. If you would like to import, that is control I. If you would like to export, that's control M. If you'd like to get the properties for a selection on your uh, sequence, go to control shift H. There's all your properties and metadata and everything you could want. And if you want to exit, do control Q.